on the field with the grass. It's about 97 degrees, but the team boxes are actually turf. I use a thermometer, 130 degrees right Whoa. now in the team box. I said that to Brian Kelly Whoa. before we did the interview. He said, we might need to rethink that. Yeah, exactly. Katie, stay out of the team boxes today. No reporting from the team boxes. They say they want to start fast. They go empty set to begin the game, and Nussmeyer gets it complete to Lacey, who goes up and grabs it. Islands one-on-one. -on -one. Second and six after the four-yard run. Nussmeyer, plenty of time in cutting route to Aaron Anderson. Good start for Nussmeyer in this passing game. Here's Williams breaking free, and it'll be first and goal Tigers as Brian Addison saved the touchdown. They go with a short pop to Thomas, trying to turn the corner, diving for the end zone, and in is Avian Thomas. And the first time this season, LSU has scored on their opening drive. Taking a look at this again, this is a foot race to the pylon. Nice job by Xavier Thomas, and yeah. Aggressive pylon can, bringing you that great angle. Third and four. Garber's pressure right up the middle, gets it to Jones, who holds on, has the first down and a heck of a lot more, and this has been a concern for LSU all year, giving up chunk plays, yet another there. Marched at 42 yards. Fourth down, out of the backfield, gets it complete to Harden, and Harden leaps for extra yards, out of bounds, first down Bruins. Garbers with time, drives the ball inside the 10 and into the end zone. UCLA, Jack Peterson with a touchdown reception. There have been issues all season long on the back end for LSU, whether it's tackling, whether it's coverage. Williams will get the work again, and the pile moves ahead. They back off the pressure as Nussmeyer looking to get it downfield to Anderson. And Anderson does haul it in. It is a catch and a first down LSU. Nussmeyer with time. And it's incomplete as he threw it to the outside of Thomas. And it'll be a turnover on downs throughout his career. Third and eight, Garbers avoids traffic, gets it downfield and complete to Gilmer. The true freshman, Quasi Gilmer. Third down and seven. Garbers cannot escape that. They all got to him. It was Weeks, the first one there, and then Jones cleaned it up coming around. Good lift on that. And elevates right in. Nussmeyer on first down. Good protection, a chance to go downfield, but he overthrows Kyron Lacey. And a flag does come in. Pass interference. Defense, number 22. It's February 9th when Chip Kelly stunned the college football world and left UCLA as the head coach as they go back to Mason Taylor on second and three. Joe Sloan, the offensive coordinator, who's promoted after Mike Dembrock left for Notre Dame. Downfield attempt. And what an amazing catch and score! Kyle Parker, how about it? My oh my, Mr. Parker! The redshirt freshman Kyle Parker lined up in the slot going one-on-one -on -one with Croy Stewart who had a pass interference call earlier. How about the location of the throw by Garrett Nussmeyer? You could not have walked down the field and handed it to Kyle Parker any better than that. Garbers on first down. He just got tripped up and it goes for a sec. And here's a big one here. On third in California, you don't have to get it all back. If it's not there, check it down or throw it away. Third down. He is sacked. He is taken down by Swinson. Four-man rush against Nussmeyer. Extends the play and gets it complete for a first down to Mason Taylor. And look at Taylor. The son of the NFL Hall of Famer, Jason Taylor. Can they get there on third down and nine? Nussmeyer, quick strike and complete. He was trying to go to Taylor again. And his teammates have noticed as well. Second down and eight. Sprints to the right. Gets it to Matavau. 
and goes ahead for a first down, and that tight end actually has commented on Garber's skill. Garbers quickly gets it out to Flores, who fights ahead for the first down. Third down and five. Garbers has to step up. Going to run it himself and get it and more. Right across that famed Tiger eye as Ethan Garbers is managing things well. Dealing with the pressure. Brought down strip sack Harold Perkins. And Braden Swinson got to him. The fifth sack for Swinson in the last two games. He has been wrecking the opponent's offensive game plan here recently for LSU. Third down and five. Great drive of the ball on both guys outside. Third and goal. Nussmeyer to the end zone. And Kyron Lacy incomplete was the intended target. Ramos has to come out for the short attempt. And with that, it's a full touchdown lead now. Sacked four times already. And able to get it complete downfield as they got him out of the pocket and it goes to Logan Loya. Second and one. Garbers. And get out of the backfield to Harden and Harden with a stiff arm and ridden down, but picks up the first down. One receiver specifically to double team. Off the two-minute timeout, a first down as he goes to Keegan Jones, who tries to spin. Ball comes out! The ball comes out, and Savion Jones with the recovery. What a costly turnover for UCLA. The question is, does he still have possession of the football when his knee touches right there? And to further review, it was determined that runner's right knee was down before he lost possession of the ball. Harden. Makes the cut, goes ahead, and it's a first down UCLA. Number two timeouts remain for UCLA. Garber's going to take a shot downfield, and staying with it was Gilmer. Stamps had coverage. Gilmer stayed with it. Garber's. Wide open and scores. Flag is down. Holding. Offense in the 71. Here's Garbers, steps up, throws to the end zone, and that ball is caught by Loya. Logan Loya with a touchdown catch with two seconds remaining in the first half. Savion Jones is bringing the heat here. The guy you got to watch is Major Burns because he's kind of spying, waiting, and he's going to deliver a very clean hit right into the gut. And still, they're doing lots of things well. Hey everyone, Wheels here with a reminder to subscribe as we're trying to hit 600,000 subscribers by the end of the week. It's completely free and helps me out a lot. Thank you and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. First half today playing way better. Berger squares those shoulders and Jalen Berger with a chunk play to open up this second half. Hovering over the middle of that defense now, delayed rush. They set up the screen to Berger, blockers in front as he's going to be a few yards shy of that line to gain. It's Brody Richter on to punt. And is this going to stay in? Wow! What a great job by Richter to place it there. Second and three. And Nussmeyer gets it complete to Anderson for a first down. Good protection. And right to Mason Taylor as the big man strides down the field. Here's Williams, and it's a first down LSU. Tenth play of the drive, a third and one. And it's going to be a first down as Taylor goes up and over. And a well-designed play. And the answer is yes. And they do it exactly the road grading way, first and goal. Williams behind that big offensive line and in. Third and seven. Watch the seat. Nice catch. Back shoulder. Start of that. Jones off left tackle. Keegan Jones. Another first down for UCLA. Hard running by Keegan Jones, the veteran. He's been on this roster since 2019. Second and 12. Oh! Ball is out again! 
The flag is down. Ball is out as to Giorgio has to jump on it. They were in position to try to tie this game. And now third and 35, and they just settle for the screen with Berger. And as Berger is taken down by Swinson. Nussmeyer throws it just to the outside to Anderson, who quickly turns the corner. You see that burst of speed he has by Anderson. Nussmeyer going to sidearm it again this time. Jackson, and what a great run after the catch by Caleb Jackson for a Tigers first down. One will start this fourth quarter. And it's going to be close to the line of the game with Caleb Jackson. Jackson spinning free and getting the first down in this half. Let's see if they can get this on third and eight. And tiptoeing there was Mason Taylor. Here's Durham. Here goes the freshman sensation. Caden Durham. And the Golden Band from Tiger Land is going to play into the night. Goes on the slant to Loya, and it works out well. Garbers gobbled up and sacked again as he is brought down right away. That was Suggs. Swinson stalking. Here he comes. Third and 14. Garbers extends the play. Flag is down as they had a deal with the pass rush. And that ball is in the hands of Gilbert. An interception by Gilbert. It's going to be a holding penalty on Unije, the left tackle working against Braden Swenson. Holding offense, number 71. Penalty's decline. So the pass rush again for Braden Swenson. Already had two sacks in this game, and because of that pressure, sets up another turnover. Nussmeyer. Goes against the grain, back across, and gets it complete to Aaron Anderson. That'll be a big one, Katie. Third down and three. Nussmeyer gets it complete to Lacey, and it's another first down, and they just keep using clock trust in their defense. Third and five to the end zone, incomplete. He was looking for Lacey. Lacey was covered by Henderson. For the field goal attempt from 32. And he puts it through, and LSU has been in complete control in this second half. He calls, it, he calls it chocolate noodle soup. That's horrific. Garbers, shallow cross, goes to Jones. Keegan Jones with a nice job and a stiff arm for a nice landing. Third down and 10. And Garber's effort to Gilmer is incomplete. So much fun to watch them go head to head. Here's Durham again. You think about, listen, final two minutes as LSU brings this to the finish line. Nussmeyer and gets it complete to C.J. Daniels for a first down. Thank you for watching the video. If you're enjoying the college football content, make sure you click on my logo and hit subscribe. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next one. And yes, the Yankees shirt is back. They're going to the playoffs.